May is here, and someone told a bunch of content creators to host jams at the same time. Not sure who thought it was a good idea, but for this month, I thought we'd take a look at some of these content creator jams, as well as a few normal ones, so let's jump right into this. This jam is hosted by Whitefault, an amazing pixel artist who recently released their big title, Adventures of the Captain Carrot. His jam is a standard one, around two weeks to make a game around a given theme. There is also an optional limitation, but it's only there as a fun added challenge. This jam has already started, so if you want to enter, you might want to get started. Curdle Games is a game programmer and 3D artist, and he runs this jam, well, it's meant to be regularly, but there's been a bit of a gap since the last one. This jam is not ranked, and as Curdle says, think of it less like a competition and more like a community showcase. The jam only lasts for 5 days, but that includes a weekend, so there's enough time to make something fun. If you're looking for something relaxing, check out the Fireside Jam. Hosted by Helper Wesley and the Game Dev Fireside community, it's a 10 day jam where everyone can have fun and learn to create better games. Like most of these jams, it's a relatively standard jam, but one standout part I noticed is that you get a bonus point during ratings if you don't make a typical platformer. I guess they get a lot of those. The jam starts in a few days, so you've got time to prepare. Back in October, we had the 32-bit Jam 2022. Maybe you started making a game for that jam, but never finished it. Well, this could be your chance to get it finished. This jam is one of those jams where you continue working on an existing project, and this one has a focus on 32-bit graphics. However, if you don't have an existing project, you are allowed to work on a new one instead. Ah yes, the Penguin OS. This jam wants you to make a game that runs on Linux, and it's as simple as that. And no, you can't make a Windows game and tell them to use Steam's compatibility tools, the idea is that the game runs natively. Most engines will already export for Linux, you just have to click a single button, so if you're using a big engine, chances are you're already sorted. And that's the list. Again, most of this month's jams were creator jams, but I tried to throw in some normal ones as well. If you think I've missed any important ones, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.